My name is Bassam Azor, and I'm the owner of a company called Michael & Son Services in Washington, D.C. A little over 20 years ago, I took over a struggling family business when my father suddenly passed away. I was just 19 years old. I've certainly experienced my fair share of financial struggles, but through hard work and determination, I'm now running one of the largest electrical, plumbing, heating, and cooling companies in the nation. Every day, my technicians come across some incredible people with heartbreaking stories. When they find they have nowhere to turn in a time of need, that's when we come in to lend a helping hand. Chatty, what's up, buddy? Come on. Hey, boss. I'm busy. What's up? I know you are a busy man. I actually just came back from Reba, Virginia. All right. Uh, I met a great family out there, um, a young man named Brandon. Are you saying Reba or Reva? Reva. Reva. Okay, Reva, not the country singer. Not the country singer. Okay, got I it. I know we're both big fans. Oh, oh yeah. Um, so he, uh, it's a young man by the name of Brandon Donahue. He was in a really bad car wreck at the age of 20 and suffered traumatic brain injuries. He's unable to work. He's got four kids that he's uh, helping to support. Um, when he was actually six years old, he lost his mother to a drunk driving accident. Oh. Um, so he's had a really tough time. And right now, uh, he's struggling with not having AC in his home and a lot of plumbing issues. With the children in the house, I think it's something we should probably consider doing. Has anybody seen this job? Uh, yeah, I've had uh, Chris, Chris had uh, Scotty and Scott out there, two of his plumbers. The Scotties. Sorry, one of his plumbers. Yeah, the, the Scotties. HVAC guys, right? Yeah, the HVAC guys and then the, and the plumber Scott. So, and they've seen it? Yes. And Chris wants to do this job? He is very enthusiastic about doing it. Well, Chris is a good guy. He's a good man. And, uh, you know, if he's, if he's up for it and they've seen it, uh, I say let's help him out. Okay? I'll get everything started. Let's get it going. All right, thanks, sir. Take care. had a uh, car accident in 2005 which left him with a brain injury so he's been on social security disability for you know ever since the accident. Well, I spent some time in a coma uh, I had to learn how to walk again talk eat swallow all I had to learn to write all that stuff all over again. I went to the hospital every day although he couldn't talk or the day that I went into that room and he knew my name was a blessing. And so he's been fighting his uh, incapacity of doing things very well and, and has come a long ways, but still not able to work and, and do like he would like to for his family. My mother got killed when I was five by a drunk driver. My grandmother, fought for custody with my dad and so when I moved to 18 I finally had nobody could tell me nothing so I finally moved in with my grandmother. It seemed like I was just mother instead of grandmother to him for so long. During the summertime the AC and went out on us and it was pretty hot. We had both our kids, they both had asthma. So we went to his grandma to try and get some help and she told us, well, I heard about Michael's son and I seen him on TV, you should call him, you should call him. So she ended up calling him for us and come to find out they had a program that would help us. Well, I was just one Sunday morning sitting there and it come on the air and my advertising Michaels and Son and their helping hand. And I said, this is what Brandon needs, but I don't know if he'll qualify. My house is paid for. I spent the rest of my mom's insurance money that I had to buy the house. Um, so I didn't have no money left. Um, so I reached out to them to get 
the plumbing and my heating and air fix because I've had no heat or air for probably two, six or seven months. If anybody qualifies, he qualifies for it because they don't have anything. And I knew the babies had been so sick uh, with their breathing problems and all, and I was afraid of mold in the house and all like that, it, that was making them sicker. So I, I called Michael's son and then I got him to call. I got Brandon to call because I just knew that this was the answer to my prayer. Finally got the news that I was, I was everything was going to be done. Um, it was the greatest feeling. I was like, yes, I don't have to worry. I don't have to try to save the little money I don't got to try to get things fixed one at a time. Um, this is good. This is like hitting the lottery for me. turn to the experts at Carrier. Right now, get a precision tune-up on your heating system for just $49. If you can't, we can. Michael and Son. going to withstand the harsh winter months? Lawn Roof offers a surprisingly affordable solution with new roofs at only $99 a month. Call now, 800-492-LONG. Has a dream of being a landlord become a nightmare for you? We'll buy your rental and deal with your problem tenants. Call us now for an offer in seven minutes. Express Home Buyers, we buy your house in seven days. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. They're setting up the flag now. Houston, we have a problem. We can't do it. Who in the world is that? They've got the flag up now. If you can't, we can. If you can't, we can. Michael and Son. Uh, my name is Scotty, uh, Scotty Martz. I've been with Michael and Son for about two and a half years now. I actually started in the Virginia Beach location um, and then transferred up to the Charlottesville location. I'm very excited to be part of the Michael and Son Helping Hands experience. This is my first time doing it. Uh, I know that uh, at the end of this project, these people will be very comfortable this winter time. It's a great thing to be able to put new heat, heat in there for these people. I'm excited to do it. Everybody needs help every once in a while. And for a company like Michael and Son to come out and do what we're doing today, I mean, it's just, it's, it just raised the bar for everybody else to step up. So we're going to fix all the leaks in the water system and all the drain leaks so it preserves the house. Take great pride in coming out here with Michael and Son and being able to do a little charity event to help the family get, get what they need. to install a brand new heat and air system. It's called a, a heat pump split system. It's a two-ton system. Um, basically what we do is we tear out the old equipment and we put in brand new equipment. Not only will we be doing the install uh, with the new equipment at no cost, but on top of that we will save them in energy costs for years to come. My name is Ronnie Lucas. I'm a master licensed plumber. The project I'm working on today uh, came in here and did a plumbing safety inspection and I found some items that needed to be resolved. The, they had leaks underneath the kitchen sinks, the faucets aren't, aren't working, uh, toilets are old and not flushing properly. The lavatory in the master bathroom, one of them isn't hooked up, so I'm gonna repipe it, and they have illegal S-traps in them, 
So I'm gonna put studer vents underneath the sink to allow it to vent properly and drain properly. Typically there's two guys to an installation. Uh, you got one guy that usually works on the outdoor unit, one guy that works on the indoor, and then they help each other out as necessary. My name is Scott Schaefer, and I'm actually a uh, HVAC install um, tech. The old equipment um, was damaged. It, it appears as though the compressor had been shorted out. Um, on top of that, the indoor unit was rusted completely to a point where I put my drill up to it and one of the screws just popped right through. It was completely shot. <laughs> it was done. Rust, the indoor unit was completely rusted out. Uh, outdoor unit uh, seemed to have a bad compressor. And the homeowner's doing a smart move by replacing the whole unit. First thing we do when we show up is we talk to the homeowner. We find out where the breakers are so we can kill power to all the equipment. Then we locate thermostat, filters, all that kind of good stuff. So that way at the end of the job we're ready to rock and roll. We know where to go. After that we go to wherever the indoor unit is and the outdoor unit and we do what we call tear out. Uh, it's a typical installation. Now it sounds fast that way, but normally about eight hours. And carriers top notch. Uh, they take pride in their work. Uh, you can just tell by, I mean, if you're a homeowner, just by looking at the outdoor unit, um, you, you can just tell the, how, the quality that's built, easy to use, um, very, very customer friendly. The old equipment again was 10 sear. The new stuff is 13 sear. So as far as electricity savings, they're looking at at least a 15% to a 30% increase or decrease in energy costs. It's a swell group of guys that work for them. They couldn't be any, any nicer than my own sons. I just think the world of them. I'm one of those people that I feel when you give, it comes back to you in the future. So to me, I think this is a great, great thing to do. I am more than happy to do it. I enjoy my work and I'm happy that I can, I can do my work and give these people comfort. Life will be improved greatly because now I can wash my son's clothes for school, I can wash dishes. They got asthma, so I can't use wood stoves and, and then the space heater, a space heater for a, a big house like this, it doesn't work very well. And then they constantly stay sick, so now hopefully with having heat in the winter, they'll be able to get through this cold season a lot better. I know living without heat and air cannot be a very fun thing to do especially with young children um, so this will definitely help them out this winter time so they'll stay comfortable and warm during the winter and then of course next summer will be cooling season again. Historical moments revealed. George, did you cut my wig? Yes, Baba. I cannot tell a lie. I can't do it. If you can't, we can. If you can't, we can. Michael and son. George, did you cut that tree down? Father, I cannot tell a lie. He did it. Need to sell your house with major repairs? We'll buy it as is. 
Call us now for an offer in seven minutes to sell your house in seven days. Express Home Buyers, we buy your house in seven days. Keep the heat inside this winter with our high-tech heat mirror windows. Long Windows is offering the surprisingly affordable solution at only $99 a month. Call now. What a drive. I'm here to meet a uh, family uh, by the name of Brandon, a young man. Um, we were introduced to him from his grandmother, uh, his grandmother, Miss Juanita. And uh, she, basically, Brandon's had hardship life. Uh, his mother died in a car accident. Uh, he had a car accident himself that kind of left him in a bad situation. He's got uh, four children and, and kind of like very poor income. Um, they didn't have any heat, they didn't have any air conditioning. And, and you know, as you can see by the leaves, we're about to get cold over here. So uh, I'm glad we were able to step in. So let's go find out what we did. Come on. Oh man, that's a, I can't even get to the door. Is this Chino? Hey Chino, can I knock on the door? Hello, this is Brandon. This is Brandon. How you doing buddy? Hi. My name is Bassam. Bassam, Brandon, nice to meet you. Nice, nice to finally meet you. You too. Could I come in please? Come on, you're Thank you very much. Now can I, get some understanding, like, what what are your issues that you're having? I mean, uh, how come you couldn't afford to do this? What was going on? Um, I had a bad accident in 2005 mm -hmm. um, and suffered a traumatic brain injury. Mm -hmm. um, I had to learn everything all over again. Um, I had to walk, talk, everything. Um, so I'm not able to work. I have problems uh, being in crowds. Uh, just problems being around people. Are you able to drive? Yeah, I'm able to drive. Able to drive. Yeah, I'm mobile. Um, I can get around. Right. Uh, just, just problems with, I guess, the work environment. I got you. So you, you're not able to have a job. You're not able to hold a job, and basically you've had some issues around here. Yeah. And uh, I guess it was something beyond what you could do. Yes, sir. So how did you find out about us? Uh, word of mouth. Uh, my grandma got some work done with y'all a couple of years ago. Okay. And. Um, she asked around and I heard from her and gave it a call. So your grandmother, I mean, she basically kind of helped you out and, and introduced us to each other. Yes. What does that mean to you? I mean, how, do, how what, what kind of role does your grandmother play in your life? Uh, she's a big part of my life. She's pretty much like my mother. Right. Yeah. So. You go with your grandmom? Yeah. Who's this young lady over here? That is my grandmother. You love him a lot, don't you? I love him a lot. He'll <laughs> come and say, Mama, I need something. Well, Mama tries to do it. Right. And it's just, I mean, he's, he is, he's my grandson and son. Wow. Yeah. That's very nice. Yeah. Well, you're very lucky to have your grandmother. You know, I'm, I'm happy that we're able to help you guys. And, and I, I just, I, I love that you thought about your grandson and stuff like that. I'm glad that we could do it for you and your grandson. I am so thankful too. You know, I've, I'll sing your praises as long as I can. You know what? If you pray for me, that's all I need. And I, yeah, I will do that. Just pray for me. That's all I need. I will do that. The more prayers, the better. Yes. You don't have to cry. It's okay. <laughs> it's just Come such an emotional time. I'm an emotional person. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're good. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. I understand we had, uh, was it Scott and Scotty here? Scott yes. Scotty. Right. And um, we also had the plumber here, Ronnie. 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 And uh, so can I see what they did? Yes, I'd just sir. like to know. Yes, what was wrong yes. with the sink exactly? Uh, the sink, uh, this side, when I was washing dishes, this side wouldn't even drain. Uh, and this side, uh, actually, this side wouldn't even drain. And this side, it would drain, but really, really slow. And sometimes it wouldn't drain at all. So what did Ronnie end up doing? Uh, Ronnie came in and he oh. gave us all new fixtures. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. So he replumbed the bottom of it. Yeah, he replumbed the bottom. Probably snaked it. it out as well. Yeah. 
Very and nice. And he also hooked us up with the line to the refrigerator and hooked our ice maker up. Which was never there before. No. Okay, now you got an ice maker. Now we got an ice maker. All right, yeah, very nice. ice maker just never in use. No ice. No ice. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. That makes perfect sense. So they hooked us up with the ice maker. Okay, very good. Very appreciative of that. No, what else did Ron? Love it. The kids love ice. Kids Everybody love loves it. ice. Who doesn't love ice? Yeah. But uh, what else did the plumber do? What else did Ron do over here for you? Uh, he actually went back and did some more in our other bathroom. Okay. We have two bathrooms. All right. This is a brand new toilet. Oh, so it's a brand new toilet. Yeah, it Wonderful. Gave us a brand new toilet. Great. Take the old one out and new uh, new supply line new and everything. Supply line and everything. Very nice. Uh, two new sinks. Very nice. And uh, we fixed the okay. Fixture. Replumb the fixture. Replumb the fixture. Okay. Sounds good. So this is the backyard of the house, huh? This is the backyard, the big backyard. Big backyard. Well, looks like you have a brand new... Uh, I have a brand new one. They took the old one out that was not even moving. So it's a brand new carrier system. And uh, is this a heat pump or is this a, you have gas in the house? No, it's a heat pump. It's a heat pump? Yes, sir. And, and the actual air handler is in the crawl space? Yeah, they, they had to go under the... They went under the crawl space. So. I mean, that's kind of, I mean, God bless these guys, Scott and Scotty. It's a tough job going in a crawl space like that. How bad was it? Uh, they was under there. They went under there. I've looked under there, and it's, it's a tough one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. So. But they did, they did, they did good. You know what? I, got, I respect these guys because they're in the attics in the summertime. They're in crawl spaces. They're in some crazy stuff. So God bless these guys. So it looks like they did a really nice job here. They got a, a brand new disconnect. It's all nice and neat. Uh, it's running. Yes, yes. That's and the great. house feels great. Yeah, the house feels great. great. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. So I think I've seen everything I need to see with this. So uh, Brandon, I uh, let's go back to the front. I have a little surprise for you. Okay. All right, come on. One of the greatest moments in time is when we discovered fire. Fire is a crucial human advantage, a source of food, warmth, and protection from predators. Only the most innovative can survive. If you can't, we can. If you can't, we can. Michael and son. Brandon, I've seen the work. I'm glad we could have done it for you. Uh, I'd like to see if your grandmother's around. I'd like to just tell you a couple things real fast. Okay. Can you get her real fast? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Hey, Mama. What? Come here. I just saw the house. I saw what we did. I'm glad we were able to do it for you guys. Uh, I understand, Brandon, you're a Wizards fan? Yes, sir. You like the Wizards? Yes, sir. You get to see them a lot? No. Okay. On TV. Yeah, on TV. Yes. Well, if you want, what I have is I have a suite at the Verizon Center. Okay. And I can get you guys tickets for the suite. Also, I have a very good friend over there named Lou. He is with Monumental Sports. And I'm pretty sure we can work out some sort of special arrangement where hopefully we can get you some shirts and some stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I can get you in the suite, catered, food, everything you want to drink and eat, all right there for you guys. Does that sound okay with you guys? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. I mean, if, if he right, I know it's something that he would want to do. You go, you'll come down with him? Yes, I can come down with All him. All right, that sounds good. Well, I am going to leave you guys right now, uh, and I just want to just tell you one more time, thank you so much for allowing us to your house. Um, thank you that, uh, that you're around for your grandson, and, uh, you know, I know that uh, God has a special place for you, I promise you. Well, it's, it's just been a wonderful meeting you, and it's just so wonderful what y'all have done. If we had more people out in the world helping when, when they could and helping people that need it, 
it would be such a much more blessed world. Well, I can't help the whole world. I can just I'm, help <laughs> You one, can help one at a time. One and at a time. Enough. That's all I can do. That is enough. That's all I can do. One more hug, dear. One Thank more hug. Thank you. you. Thank you so much, dear. Brandon, thank you. thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. You guys too. have a good day. I'm going to take off now. I got to get to work. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Work. All right. Thank you guys so much. Thank I'll see you later. Bye bye. Bye, bye Decker. Bye -bye. That was awesome. Uh, Brandon and his grandmother. Uh, you know, it, it, uh, it humbles me and it, it makes me feel small uh, that I can meet people like that who are simple and nice and sweet and genuine um, you know what I'm I'm really glad and thankful that I could do this uh, we'll see you on the next one tonight's a special night we're here to uh, welcome and show around the Donahue family from Virginia and their guests are really one of our closest friends and sponsors, Michael and son, Bassam Mansour. And Lauren's been working with the team to, to welcome the whole family, especially their two young children who are, who are here today seeing their first Wizards game. And just to let them be on the court and mingle with the players and be in the building. And Bassam's arranged for them to have a suite at the game tonight and just be able to partake in the activities at the Verizon Center. Thanks to uh, Michael and Son for really doing such a great service in the community. They've done a major effort in rebuilding their home and electrical system and plumbing and air conditioning. And uh, we hope they have a great night. But to me, there's nothing greater than to put a smile on a kid's face. When you can get a, a, a family to come out here and see a boy and a girl, whether it be the circus, whether it be an ice show, whether it be the Capitals, whether it be the Wizards, just to be here in, in all the many activities. That's what, that's what puts happiness. I, I have two daughters, but, and they grew up here since I've been here 33 years, but to, to see the Donahue family be out here today and, and be able to partake in it and see the kids. They were able to meet players and get some gifts and just be able to be on the court. Everything is working like it's supposed to work. Uh, I now have heat and air. Uh, toilets are flushing. They're the best company that I could have ever gotten in contact with. So I thank them from the bottom of my heart. Uh, there's nothing more I could ever want or could ever expect from anybody.